I'm at SA Motorcycles because finally my not just the panniers but also the mounting brackets have arrived as so today is the day that my bike is going to be converted from a motorcycle with no luggage capacity to a bike with two uh, large panniers and hopefully that's going to give us the ability to do a bit of touring. So, I've just got home. Um, I may have stopped at one of my favorite cafes for breakfast and a brew, which I do quite often to break up the journey. And how have I found them so far? Well, first of all, um, one of the pros is sort of one of the cons as well. That is to say, these are big panniers. So they are wide panniers and the width of one pannier to the other one, to the outside, is wider than the width of the handlebars. And it's not a huge issue, it's just something you have to be mindful of if you're um, filtering, which I'm not at the moment because I'm on my L's, it's just a consideration. So probably as a mental note, when they're on, I probably won't filter. I've just been on sort of cruise mode. Um, if I'm commuting, I may not have them on. But as far as the pro with that is there's more space, which I want to show you something that I, I wasn't aware of until today, because I was considering getting a top box, and I'm still, I'm still not saying I certainly won't, but the main idea of that was have something to put my helmet in when I'm not using it, and it can carry some lighter luggage when um, I'm in transit. But the problem with that is it's further back. I'm a bit worried it's going to take some weight off the prop wheel, proper understeer issues, and I'm, um, well, possible understeer issues, so I'm told, and that's always a concern. So I'd rather not do that. Instead, when I'm riding by myself, there'll just be that, that temporary luggage, um, I don't know what you call it, it's just sort of like a soft luggage container that I used on the last trip, and that goes there. So I've still got a little bit more space if I want it. But how much space have these got in? Well, here's the cool thing. The, if I can just get the right key. The bonus is these are big enough that I don't need a top box for this. All right? Each one of these fits a helmet in if you've got nothing else in it, and you might think, well, if you pull a luggage, how can you fit a helmet? But of course, it's only really when you've stopped and perhaps you're camping and you put your camping gear out and it's pitched, then you're free to put whatever you want in there and keep it out of the weather and secure. So it is a little bit of a squeeze, but you can fit a helmet in each one. So that's really good. Now, I'm gonna show you how they come off. As I say, it's a little bit of a squeeze. But uh, to come off, basically, you just, once you've unlocked them, um, there's a bracket underneath, and you just activate that. It withdraws the bracket, and with a little bit of elbow grease, you can do this. That's it. All right, so to put it on again, it's just the reverse of that and they are a little bit stiff at the moment because they're new and then I've just got to work the clip underneath by, by depressing this again and um, it's not that big a, big a problem. Very handy if I want to go into the front yard because it won't fit with these things on. It won't fit through the gate. All right. So, can we fit our camping gear in there? In this one, I've got sleeping bag. Uh, that is essentially a really small chair. It packs up really well. And I've also got my inflatable air mattress, which packs up pretty well, and that's just a pillow. Uh, I could probably go with or without that, but that's a work in progress. So those items there fit in quite nicely. Um, the other side, now that I've removed the helmet from this side, you'll see 
can also fit in the two-person tent. And if you wanted to camp perhaps a little bit more comfortably, this is a slightly larger tent. This is a three-person tent, and this will also squeeze in. So I'll probably try it with both of them. Not 100% sure whether I will put the tent in there or put it in a bag and put it on the back, either that way or that way. Um, it, it, it will depend on a lot of things. I'm going to try lots of different options and just see what the easiest thing is to do. I also have this, uh, essentially this footprint that protects the bottom of the tent, which I made recently. And if I do a review on this tent, I might talk about that in a different video, but that should be able to fold up and fit underneath there quite adequately as well. So I think we have enough room. The only thing now really is um, to go camping. <laughs>